and I found for them as, as follows. One month in salary and day of notice, gratuity at 1% as per their contract of employment, compensation equivalent to three months salary for the unfair termination, and also ordered that they be paid uh, costs by the respondent. And I found for them as, as follows. One month in salary and day of notice, gratuity at 1% as per their contract of employment, compensation equivalent to three months salary for the unfair termination, and also ordered that they be paid uh, costs by the respondent. And this amount is supposed to be computed and will form part of this judgment. And therefore, I want to give further orders. Um, that the computation be filed before court by the parties within 30 days. We are going to mention this matter on the 11th of December to consider the computation. May let me pray for 30 days stay. I've indicated that you want the computation within the 30 days. So after that, we can ask for the state. 11th yes. of December. Please find your computation. Uh, is uh, Ms. Kipruto? And also, I think if you disagree, yes. please do it. We'll file your, your leadership. Could you kindly supply us with a copy of the judgment? The judgments are usually posted on the platform. So it will be there. Very well. Much obliged. What do I do with this? Uh, kwa majina naitu wa Sami Njiguna and uh, the team ambao wako hapa ni wafanyikazi wa county ya Nakuru ambao uh, walikuwa nafanya kazi kwanzia mwaka wa 2020 na <clears throat> baada ya miaka miwili hivi uh, board ya Nakuru County, the County Public Service Board, in their wisdom, waka terminate contract yao illegally, na pia wakati huo tukaonelea ni vizuri. Watu wote idadi sio hawa tu walikuwa watu sabini, but ambao tumekuwa kotini ni watu kama tarathini hivi, na baada ya kuja mahakamani kutafuta haki, siku ya leo tunamshukuru mungu kwa sababu Wamuzi umefanywa in our favor and we are here to thank God first because uh, kuweka hawa watu na afya njema na utulivu wa mawazo kwa sababu kuvutu wa kazi sio jambo rahisi na ambapo kwanza limefanyika kwa gafla pia tushukuru mahakama na jaji kwa sababu ya uh, walking this journey with us na pia ni shukuru sana uh, wakili wetu ambaye pia amekuwa nasi kutuhimiza na pia kutembea nasi katika hii safari. So niseme uh, labda ka, kwa huu wa muzi uh, ni mapendekezo yetu kama wananchi wanakuru na pia kwa wafanyikazi pia wengine kwamba Nakuru County Public Service Board ambao ndio wanajukumu la kuajiri eh, tungeomba waboreshe huduma zao kwa sababu hatungefikia sehemu ya kufika kotini ispokuwa ni utenda kazi ambao na utepetevu na kutoeleweka na kutomakinika katika kazi ambapo inabidi mpaka wafanyikazi wanapoteza nafasi zao za kazi bila sababu zozote unapewa barua leo umeajiliwa kesho unapewa ya promotion pamoja na ya termination at the same time 
so in competence ya kiwango hicho tungeomba ambao wanahusika the county assembly na pia wahusika ambao wanaongoza county kwa sasa waketi sana kwa chini kama ni mafunzo zaidi kama ni mawaidha zaidi waeze kuwaeka katika hali sawa because sisi tu ni wachache labda ambao walipitia dhuruma kama hizo na tungependa it's not something we would uh, want ifanyike kwa mtu mwingine so mimi ni sema county public service board ya nakuru eh, huduma ambazo wanapeana kwa sasa zina upungufu mkubwa sana zina walaki ni mkubwa sana na tungependelea sana ambao wanahusika assembly from this point wachukulie kwamba waeze kuketi nao waelewe gaps hizi zinatoka wapi in competence hii inatoka wapi ndipo satuisieze kuweka wananchi wengine na wafanyikazi wengine katika adhabu ambayo haina maana na uchungu na maumivu ambayo wengi wetu hapa wamepitia na niseme maybe uh, idadi ambayo iko hapa kuna watu wengi ambao wana familia hapa watu ambao wana mambo yao ambayo yamekwama hali ya mawazo ina songa watu sana kwa sababu kwa ghafla siku moja ukiambua waupo kazini bila sababu yoyote ni turuma ambayo singependelea iweze kumpata mtu mwingine yoyote na kwa hivyo tunasema bodi ya nakuru county ambayo ni ya kuajiri e, tungewaomba kurekebisha na pia kuwa na utu kwa sababu huduma ambayo wanafanya ni kuajiri na waifanye kwa haki na pia kama kuna sababu za kumtoa mtu kazini zieleweke kwa mapema. But kuandika barua ambazo ni vague umemtuma mtu nyumbani bila sababu yoyote I don't think that is fair to anybody. Tulipo uh, kuja hapa kotini kufuatilia haki tulikuwa na maombi kumi. na nishukuru Mungu kwamba mahakama siku ya leo imepata kwamba tulivutwa kazi pasipo kufuata sheria. Na kwa hivyo kesi hii tunaweza sema kwa msingi wa kwanza tumeshinda na tunamshukuru Mungu na niseme kwa maombi hayo yote tutaweza kuyapitia na kuona uh, ni yapi ambayo yatakuwa katika the final judgment na niseme kwamba uh, county governments wasipoangalia kitengo hichi cha county public service board ambavyo wanafanya uajiri ambavyo wanavuta watu tutajipata pabaya sana katika fedha za umma zikipotelea kwa masuala ya mahakama ili hali kuna huduma muhimu ambazo zingekuwa zinafanyika pale mashinani. So kwa hivyo tungeomba kwamba County Public Service Board across the country kwa jimbo zote 47 kuwa makini na kufanya kazi kwa ustarabu. Ndipo sasa tusiwe tunafika sehemu kama hii ambapo obviously inaleta gharama ambazo hazikukusudiwa. So kwa majina naitwa Paul Munyalo. Mimi nimekuwa mfanyikazi na Kuru County Government. So tumekuwa kwa hii koti from last year tulikuja hapa kwa sababu the public service board dismissed us tukiwa wafanyikazi tukajikuta tumesimamishwa kazi na leo ni shukrani kubwa sana the, the court imeamuru na imethibitisha sisi tulikuwa wafanyikazi personally i'm very happy because uh, there are some people who called us ghost workers I now think that story now imeisha. Court ime confirm tulikuwa wafanyikazi. Namba tu, sisi kama wafanyikazi wenye tulipenda kufanya kazi kwa county government I think going forward in future the public service board should not punish any other person mwenye ni mfanyikazi ambaye ameandikwa kupitia utaratibu wenye unafuatwa kuajiri mtu because sisi dilemma yenye tumekuwa nayo out of wa watu wenye wamekuwa kotini hata kuna wengine waliama hii county because ya mikopo yenye walikuwa nayo bank mtu ameshindwa kulipa nyumba inabidi ahamie kwao ushago yet ni somebody mwenye alikuwa competent na alikuwa anajua time yake ya kufanya kazi time limit yake iko hii muda lakini in one day somebody makes you to go back to certain point. So hiyo nadhani in future is why fanyika. Ile ingine ni public service board pia kulingana na wamuzi wa leo because pia walikuwa wametufunga. Sisi ni kama tulikuwa hapo katikati because venye walitusimamisha kazi hata barua ya kusema huyu mtu alifanya kazi na Kuru County Government na hakuwa na makosa. Ni hivi na hivi tulisema 
tamu yake imeisha ndio at least mtu atafute kazi kwingine walitunyima kwa hivyo tunaomba going forward mtu akifanya service mzuri apewe barua ndio hata kesho akitafuta kazi another department ama in another organization hakuwe na merits ya kusema mimi niko na scorecard nilifanya na Kuru County Government these are the details because hapo pia walitufunga na walituteza that is extra punishment apart from stopping us from job pia walitupunish kwa njia yenye si mzuri sana tungeomba the assembly na wahusika hawa hawa wafanyikazi wa public service board ndio wakuwe trained ndio in future wasikuje kufanyia county lose millions of shillings kwa kulipa wafanyikazi ili hali hao watu wangefanya kazi muda yao ishe wapate what they deserved kwa majina yangu naitwa Karo Mudhoni mimi nilikuwa mfanyikazi wa Nakuru County na kulingana na venye wenzangu wenye wameongea hapo mbele tunashukuru Mungu siku ya leo kwa ajili ya ushindi wenye tumepata siku ya leo tulikuwa tumefanya kazi hapo kwa muda kuanzia 2020 na tukawa tumeajiriwa kupitia county public service board kwa njia inayofaa lakini wakati wa kuvutwa kazi ikakuwa hawakufuatilia njia inayofaa lakini siku ya leo tunasema ni asanti kwa Mungu juu tumeona ushindi siku ya leo